Okay, we're looking at the Roland JDXI and a question was asked about saving sequences and data. So I'm going to look at that. Now I've got my JDXI plugged in via USB. We have two ways of doing this. Here we've got the, I've got a preset and it's on E. Um, and if I pop some drums in here, so if I play now, we'll get those additional components. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is save that particular uh, program. Okay, that's that done. Now what I'm going to do is go into the menu and I'm scrolling to the right, as you can see, and we have something in here called utility. And if I go in there, we have a choice of backup or restore or reset. I'm not going to do the reset, but we can restore or back up. So I'm going to back up. Now, as soon as I press enter, you can see on screen that we have a folder. And in that folder, there are two other folders, one called backup, one called extra. Now we've got some extra folders here. These are for saving the axle sounds. And in the JDXI, I have two files here. I've literally just taken those files across and onto my PC. I've dragged and dropped onto the desktop and you can see them here. Now, if you're looking at the screen now, it's stuck in this waiting pattern and it won't actually do anything until I click eject. I'm assuming that you know how to eject safely an external hard drive on, on your computer. As soon as I eject, you can see that the process has now finished because the JDXI has gone back to its program. We've seen how we can drag and drop the data from and to. Now what I'm going to do is turn off the JDXI and show you a different way to do this. So my hand is at the back and I'm going to turn the power off. Now here I've got my finger on the shift and I'm pushing down enter and then I'm going to turn the machine on. And I've still got my fingers on the shift and the enter. Now what you've seen is that we're at this position. Now this is saying, do I want to save the block E01 to E16? And that's 16 slots. If I press enter, um, which I will do in a second, if I were to press shift and plus now, you can see how I can now get to the F and the G and the H. So uh, these are our user presets uh, where we can store our patterns. Now, of course, if I'm here, I can do a range. I can right click and take it down there. So if you haven't got the whole block saved, then that's fine too. Now I'm going to bring this to zero one and what you could do is scroll across and you can only do these complete blocks it looks like because if I do that I don't have any more control I can only go down or up so once I go across the 64 then it goes EO2 to FO1 because I can only save up to 64 so don't do that what you can do is do that leave it EO1 to E64 and press enter 
and then we'll see what the screen does. Okay, now you can see now that the on my PC it's called this H. Don't let that confuse you because H sounds like it's our H slot. It isn't. That's just the letter convention for my computer. So here it's the only choice it's given me here is it's given me an export.bin file called jdxi underscore exp.bin and I can move I can drag and drop that to my PC on my desktop now I've got the the other two and this one so don't forget don't get muddled up when you save now to complete the process because I've taken it across now if I eject JDXI it takes me back to here again now what I can do now is go to F and then move across and I'm using the value oops I missed it there now if I press enter it'll do the same again only this time it's exporting that bank F now it's opened up again now it doesn't matter what you I've got the same file the jdxi underscore exp dot bin which is the same as the same naming convention as the other one so I can take that off and move it across and of course you can see now how dangerous it could be because the computers asked me to whether I want to replace the one in the destination and I'm gonna say no but you get the idea now if I now remove the JDXI now the device has come back and we're back here again and we can go on like this if I we've got G H and there are no more so I'm going to come out of here now now if I was going to do a restore and we can do it two ways we can do it by pressing enter and we'll do the utility way first and restore so I press enter and it's done the same thing it's mounted the drive it's given me the the drive here okay so now I've pulled this this back in the bin and the JDXI dot SVD now I'm going to unmount and we can now see that the device is restoring and it's restoring both the the patterns and and other data and it wants me to turn the power off so I'll turn the power off turn it back on and if we look now when I started before in fact you can't see um, let me see if I can just move the camera across you can see there now there's pattern data on here so if I press play and that's the sequence that I recorded before to make the change that we could track whether it saved so it did save we changed the track saved it and its data we've ex we've taken it off the machine as bulk and we brought everything back over as bulk and that's worked so now let's try the the different way so I'm going to turn the machine off I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to turn the machine on okay now what it's done here this is a restore on the extra banks so the extra banks are the ones that Roland have kindly provided us on the Axial website so 
they go into these folders. Now I'm just going to pull up and I will find it. It's gone on, it's gone to the other screen of course. <laughs> so I'm pulling it over to here. Now what I'm going to do is send it to I'll send it to Z. So I'm going into the folder. And there's only one bin file there. Uh, I'm just going to see what the readme is because you, sh you should always. OK, that's telling me how to do it. I know that already. And it's giving, giving me a list of the tunes. OK, so there are 16 new ones here. I'm going to put those into Z. Now what I'm going to do is unmount because we can see the bin file here now. And now you can see that the JDXI has responded. It wants me to turn off the power, which I've done. I've now turned the power back on. And if I do this, here it is. So that shows you how you can save your data.